Welcome back to study section 5 on FM W201 Introduction to Forestry and Wildlife Management. In the previous study section, we discussed civiculture, where we said the various standardized methods for raising young trees or planting in Nigeria, such as thumb plants. Plants raised in containers of various materials. But in this study section 5, we will be talking about afforestation. In protective afforestation or any forest reserves are managed for protection, timber production is of secondary importance. And the in protective role of trees and accompanying vegetation becomes the dominant consideration in all decision such as what to, grow, what to plant, whether to thin, how to regenerate the forest, whether to allow firewood collection and, and livestock grazing. At the end of this study section, you should be able to discuss the protective afforestation, explain the protective role of tree cover, thirdly, you should be able to discuss watershed management. Let's talk about this learning outcome one after the other the need for protective afforestation in the tropics. Tropical ecosystems are on the whole more fragile than temperate ones and more reliable to the rapid deterioration when disrupted. So some of the reasons for this are the fact that prayers of population and land use practices, notably overgrazing and burning, widespread destruction of forests are discussed to show the importance of tree planting programs for protection as one component of sustainable land use. Secondly, loose of vegetative cover. One of the reasons for establishing plantation is due to loss of vegetation cover. What is important in terms of protection is where the disappearance of vegetation cover has caused major damage to the environment. The consequences of such laws are more in mountainous and arid land. Thirdly, erosion of soil is a normal geological phenomenon which plays an important role in the formation of natural landscapes and the rate of occurrence varies depending on climate, terrain, especially steepness of slopes. Soil structure and the amount of vegetation cover. Wind and water are the agents of erosion. It may occur over extensive areas as surface or sheet erosion, in rills or has gullets. So soil erosion has many effects, which include loss of topsoil for cultivation, loss of ground stability or steep soils and development of landslides, Saltation of rivers, causing premature filling of dams and blockage of irrigation. The protective role of a tree cover. Many of the influences of trees and forests on the environment are well understood. So the purposeful retention of forests or planting of trees in the tropics are done for closely five related purposes. And this includes soil stabilization and prevention of erosion, watershed management, provision of shelter and sheds, reclamation of sites, and to arrest the certification. Soil stabilization and erosion control. This includes tree cover protection, tree cover which protects the soil and reduce erosion in many of the following ways in the ways of rainfall interception, wind speed reduction, soil covering and ground vegetation, moisture retention and binding actions of roots, rainfall interception. This includes the crowns of trees, which together form the canopy and other story of grow vegetation, lies and ground vegetation layers at the barrier between felling rain and soil service. So this brings about three benefits. First, the force of rain is spent on the tree's crown and other foliage which may absorb most of the kinetic energy of the raindrop. Secondly, the water from the rainfall is the crown 
takes longer to reach the ground as it trips down the branches and the trunk and drips of water. Also, wind speed reduction. This includes both inside the forest and a for short distance to the leeward. Wind speed and constantly reduce wind erosion, side covering and ground vegetation. It left undisturbed the ground beneath trees, becomes covered with a layer of debris called forest litters. And the litter layer along the ground vegetation is the most important protection for a soil surface. Binding action of roots. An examination of soil beneath a forest will reveal a mass of roots near the surface. Under the rainforest, there is an interrupted mass of fine roots over every square meter of ground. So the total quantity of roots are very large, even in a simple ecosystem. Watershed management. Trees and ground cover greatly reduce soil erosion. So in watershed management, this is not only important for preventing loss of fertile topsoil, but means that water draining from a fostered or well grass catchment will be largely free of sediment. Second effect of forest cover in catchment area is that water draining from a largely forested catchment is usually cleaner than one where land is most, mostly used for grazing or haribo farming, which may include the additional pollution from fertilizers, pesticides, human and animal waste. Many forest operations, e.g. ground preparation, planted control burning, forest grazing, felling and road construction cause disturbance and exposure of soil. Thirdly, more recently recognized effect is the role tree play in filtering or cleaning polluted air, leading to slightly evaluated alarm levels acidity in streams flowing from forested areas on poorly buffered soil. Tree planting in catchment areas has the following effect. 1. It is best to retain natural forest and vegetation, which includes grassland. And it is important to maintain an understory ground vegetation and service litter layer of forestation of a catchment, which will reduce total water yield, but may prolong dry season water flow if infiltration rates much improved by vegetation cover tree planting tree planting should be seen as one type of better land use practices notably affordance of overgrazing control cultivation bubasons to moderate part of water cycle trees provide shelter from hot sun and from strong winds so planting trees for this purpose is not new but the need for heat especially in the harid zone is more important than any other single environmental improvement purposes therefore a shelter bed fulfills several protective rules which include approximately designed beds with significantly reduced wind speed on the windward side within and to the leeward Temperature and stream and evapotranspiration stress are being moderated. The consequence of reduced rates of evap evaporation is that soil dries out more slowly in semi harid areas. Soil moisture storage is typically improved by 5 to 15 percent as a result of shed tree from wind breaks. So, the physical obstruction of the beds will trap airborne particles such, for example, sand, dust, and top soil, etc. I hope you've learned one or two things from this video section. Kindly read more from your study materials for more explanation. Join me for the next study section. Thank you for listening.